Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong will continue to serve as senior minister after his successor, Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong, takes the helm from the 15th of May. And speaking to the media for the first time after the handover date was announced, Mr Wong says that there will be no major reshuffle of the cabinet so as to maintain continuity amid the leadership change. Sherlin Xia with this report. When Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong takes up the mantle on the 15th of May, a new cabinet will be sworn in alongside him. But no major reshuffle, as he says the Singapore system works on the basis of continuity and progressive change. I want continuity because we should build on what we have today. We should affirm and reinforce what works well for Singapore. But I also want change because we should re-examine and refresh our current approaches and be prepared to break new ground in order to adapt more effectively to a rapidly changing environment. So I will want, in time to come, a good balance between experienced ministers as well as new members of the team who can add fresh perspectives to our deliberations. For now, Mr Wong says that ministers will continue to serve in their respective portfolios, but he will also look at possible promotions and consider bringing in a few backbenchers to strengthen the team. And if you look at past cabinet reshuffles, you will notice that such promotions are not common. For example, in 2020, Culture, Community and Youth Minister Edwin Tong was promoted from his former role as Senior Minister of State for Law and Health. Current Law and Home Affairs Minister K. Shan Mugam was also promoted from a backbencher to Cabinet Minister in 2008. As for any major changes, Mr Wong says these are likely to come only after the next time Singapore takes to the polls. One political observer says new cabinet members will be tested on their skill sets in explaining policies, implementing them and walking the ground. Sometimes, you know, being put, um, you know, to a radically different ministry from what, uh, you know, they are used to uh, or, or, or where they have the experience and expertise uh, would actually be a much better gauge, you know, of how how well, you know, they, they, they can pick up you know, the, the, the necessary knowledge and expertise uh, and how well, you know, they, they can then, uh, you know, relate to the different stakeholders, uh, you know, in, in a new ministry. And, and I think that would be, to me, uh, you know, a far better test, uh, you know, of how resilient, you know, adaptable and nimble uh, uh, a political office holder uh, is. Meanwhile, the government already has a full agenda ahead to implement recommendations under the Forward Singapore Initiative. Laying out his priorities, Mr Wong says his team would deal with immediate concerns around the economy, jobs and cost of living, as well as provide more assurance to various groups in society. We have a roadmap and we hope we can take concrete steps towards this because this is uh, not something that can be done overnight and we have to sort of uh, take steps towards building towards our longer term goals. Of course, along the way, we will continue to take inputs from Singaporeans, get ideas, get, their, uh, you know, get them to share their hopes, dreams and concerns, and we will continue to update our plans. So these are things we will continue to do till the end of this term of government.